Hey guys, this is just a video talking about the speculations of the next update, which should be coming around 20th December, maybe a little bit onwards, and yeah, so let, let's get this started off with the map. Now, as you can see, these are the lands that we have already, the Tan Land, Whispering Islands, the Desert, Rift, Swamp, Tear Coast, and Arcadian Forest. So the first thing to know is this little tiny gap in between the Whispering Islands and the Tanned Land is too small to fit an island in, right? And the next thing is this little brown mark, which is the raw military school in the Tanned Land, and that's the only place you can go in. So that's just like a boarded off bit showing you where you can actually like play in and go. So, let's go on to the map that we have a picture of right here. So, as you can see, the gap between the Whispering Islands and Tan Land, they've just kind of, like, made it huge. They've just, like, pushed it apart to make way for these two big islands that they've added. Not really islands, but, like, continents. Um, so, yeah, this one's connected to the desert. But, as you can see here, it has this weird little dark spot. Now, that's exactly the same here, on the tanned land. So this might be where the Mandels start, and you can't actually go anywhere else. But then, all of this is just kind of wasted, so it's kind of weird. But, on saying that, they might add more content onto that in future updates. Or, I might be wrong, you can actually go in it on this update. Okay, so, not forgetting... The Camp of Awakening, where is that? Nobody actually knows. It could be in the little purple island. How would you get there? Again, nobody knows, but... You know, that might indicate that the island is actually fully playable, the whole of it, and it's not boarded off like the Tanned Land. So, like the Tanned Land, it has the name just on the little shaded area, so it might just be that area we play in. The next thing I want to talk about is this big snowy island. It's huge. It's gonna. It's probably gonna have dungeons, later updates. If not, then in this update, it's just gonna have loads of quests. Maybe a level cap increase is shown here. This is where we're gonna go. Right now, moving on down to the little little part of town land we can see. It's like, you can see the shaded area where we're playable now, but there's like, it doesn't match up. As you can see here, it's kind of like, it's different to what we can see on here. So maybe they've moved the tan land around just a little bit, maybe they've expanded it. I don't know, maybe they've added a city or different place. Remember these guys? This is the people that I was saying, I think it's a hint into a new race. Now if you think this isn't good enough proof, then what about this? Okay, so this is the Avatar tree that everyone calls it. It obviously isn't the exact same place because it looks like the exact same tree, but at the bottom of it, it hasn't got that moat or like the water going around it, as you can see here. This looks like a forest. Obviously it is, there's little houses, there's like tree houses, it looks like, I don't know, it's weird. But this is where a little race would live, and there's like flags, and yeah, and this is the race that's going to live there. As you can see it's exactly the same as that bug that happened earlier. Um, there's actually a link in the description that has all of these pictures and everything, and even a loose translation of what that says. But yeah, this is basically it. As you can see, that's the little face. They're supposed to be called Mandels, or something like that. And yeah, they look kind of look like little gremlins or gnomes. But they look pretty cool, I think. And this exact same place in the picture that I showed you. And that's a guy, that's what man one looks like and this is what a girl one looks like as you can see they have like really big eyes and it, it kind of looks like the exact same art style that Gameloft would use 
and they have like little ears going down and yeah I think this will look really cool as tanks or healers and this is a actual gameplay picture as you can see it's a little mage with the little mage staff and yeah that's basically it again all the pictures will be in the description And lastly is the long-awaited Rift Dungeon. As you can see, well, you probably can't see it right here, but there's where my character is now. That's the current map there. Right next to Spender City. And there you see that little flag indicating a dungeon. And apparently that's where the new dungeon is going to be. And I went there in-game, and I don't really understand how it's going to fit in there, if this is real, this, like, whole video it might be fake photoshop but yeah i'm not really sure so here are a list of things that might be happening and as you can see up here they say with a grain of salt which obviously like i just said it could all be fake it could be very well photoshopped nobody actually knows but i'm gonna i'm gonna put all my hopes on this i'm pretty sure it's gonna happen so uh, these are different things. New mounts, I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. Because they did that in a tiny little update last time with the uh, upgradable bear and wolf. New business guild, maybe different crafting, which would be good because I would love to make food. Uh, voice chat, that's pretty good. Just like Nova. Easier inventory management, I don't really know what that's going to be. Um, changed prices basically on, like, mounts and other items, so maybe cheaper mana pots, that would be so good. And um, mounts, I don't really know, I don't really want them to change the, the actual price of mounts, just because I spent 2,000 gold on mine and I don't really want to make them, like, I don't really want them to make them cheaper and then I'll be like, oh, I just wasted all that gold. Um, new class. That could probably happen, that'd be quite good, because I, if I make a Mandel, I don't really want to make a class I've already made. Um, name changer, that would be pretty good, because loads of people do server transfers to change their name. But obviously, it probably would be the same price, because then Gameloft don't really want to say, oh here, have a cheap way of changing your name, because it's not good for them. Uh, new PvP maps, definitely. Definitely new PvP maps. Um, uh, new PvP modes, probably like a battlefield or like a 10v10. Definitely not like a 100v100 because this isn't like an iOS game so it can't handle it. And a Sky City, which will probably be above Rift. Unless, I don't know, I don't even know where Hanging Gardens is, it's like above it. Yeah, so that's it guys, thanks for watching.